Station Drive in the lobby after service. Have a great day. Black Wall Street. By now, you've probably already heard of it and have an idea of what Black Wall Street was in America at the turn of the 19th century. HBO even made a fictional superhero series about it. Here's a quick history lesson. After slaves were freed, in 1863, black Americans quickly proved to be faster learners than their slave masters thought they would be, even after intentionally being deprived of formally educating themselves for the previous 200 years. By 1920, one place in particular was widely known as the Mecca for black excellence. Think Atlanta, Georgia today. That place was Tulsa, Oklahoma. There were black millionaires across the country like Mary Ellen Pleasant and Madam C.J. Walker. But Tulsa essentially became the birthplace of African-American entrepreneurship. Black Wall Street is in many ways a misnomer. Because what, what the business community in the Greenwood District, the black community in Tulsa, was like, what was, was more like, would be a black mainstream. Since these were mostly small businesses, so there were movie theaters and dance halls and barber shops and grocery stores and restaurants and service providers like doctors and lawyers and pharmacists and dentists, um, hotels, all manner of businesses that you might find on an American Main Street concentrated in a segregated black enclave in Tulsa. Black Wall Street, the Greenwood District, was also a community of necessity. There wouldn't have been a need for a separate black economic um, island in Tulsa had it not been for Jim Crow segregation. So they created their own economy in part uh, across the Frisco tracks, separated from downtown by those, by those tracks. Eventually, things quickly changed. By this time, the KKK was also quickly gaining prominence, particularly in the South. And of course, we're not happy. After two days, the mecca of black entrepreneurship became the center of destruction. But most, unfortunately, did not see it that way. The community was rebuilt after that to a substantial degree, peaking in the 1940s, early to mid-1940s, with well over 200 documented black-owned operated businesses. But then there was a second devastation. This was not a devastation affected through violence but rather through policy. I'm Black History. I am Black History. I am Black History. I am Black History.